Hey guys, I think it's day three in the boat yard. Lost track of everything I've been working on. Um, working on plumbing, working on some through holes, working on just a lot of things at one time all by myself. So forgive me for not getting much video. Um, this morning, what we're working on though, most, one of the most important things is the rudder. Um, didn't, don't know how our, we had it inspected. Our diver cleans it all the time. And at some point we hit something or I don't know, just bad delamination, but we got a hole in the rudder. So I'm gonna be fiberglassing this up today. That's my, my goal. Grind it all out and then refiberglass it in. So it's pretty bad. Of course, we didn't haul it out when we bought the boat for a survey. Um, everything just didn't work out. We wanted to haul it out, but we couldn't work everything out with the shipyards and everything to do it on a on a Saturday over there, the only day I could get off at the time. So it, this, uh, this could have been like this since then. And just when everybody dived on it and said it looks okay, maybe, you know, being in dark, murky water, you just can't see everything. So I know I've dived on it before and kind of looked, but the boat's so big, I can only hold my breath for so long. I'm not that great of a free diver yet. So fortunately, I don't spend enough time in the water. But anyways, enough rambling. This is what I'm going to be working on today. I'll try to get some video. Um, if I don't, forgive me. Um, it's going to be a big project. I'm going to work on that and a couple other spots on the rudder. Um, nothing else. You'll see the finished product. It's going to be a lot bigger project than what I thought it was going to be. Even though I thought it was going to be pretty dang big. But getting it all sanded down. Tapered it off. And then over here. I found a little hole and it was full of water. So I'm trying to get that all dried out today. I see it dripping. So I don't think I'm gonna fiberglass today. I think I'm just gonna finish getting everything ready. So I don't know if you could just hear me, but I think I'm just gonna finish getting everything ready, sand it down, taper everything out and then let it dry and then maybe start fiberglassing tomorrow. So make sure it's all dried up and good to go. So um, the boat does have bl some blisters on it, which I mean, it's an old boat. had not been hauled out in a long time. Um, I'm debating if I should try saving the money and just do some of these myself. It's probably 20, maybe 25 blisters that need to be filled in. There were some other bubbles under the paint, but they didn't go into the fiberglass. It was just paint bubbles. Um, but there's about 20 blisters that need to be fixed and a couple little blue lamp spots. So there was actually one really bad one I found. I couldn't believe it, so we'll get them to fix that because I just don't want to do it. Look at this. We got this one right here. You can just see it. And then I think there was one more. There was. Where was it? Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been going around this boat so much. It's it's all starting to look the same anymore. But yeah, there's one more spot somewhere that was really bad. I couldn't believe how bad it was. Little blisters here and there. Right there. And here's another one where just the hard coat peeled off. So we'll get all those fixed up. And then, oh yeah, there's another one right there. Good stuff. So we're gonna get all this fixed. It's out the water. My heart's broken, but I'm a realist. Uh, we're gonna be stuck here a couple more months. I know we are. This is just gonna break into my budget too much. Like I said, uh, we had no intentions on doing this while we were here. So we wanted to do it somewhere cheaper. Um, don't know what it's gonna cost. We know what the paint is and everything like that. It's like 34, 3,500 bucks. But after all the blisters and everything else I've already ran into, the through holes, I think we're gonna be lucky if we walk out of this six, maybe 7,000. So but whatever it costs, I will let y'all know. Um, keep it real so that way y'all know what to expect if you're looking at 50 year old boats. Um, especially, I mean, I'm not even gonna say it's because we didn't survey it because you know what? I still would've bought the boat. It was a good price and it's not that bad. So it's just, it's an old boat. So again, y'all be prepared if you want to buy an old boat and go sailing around. It's not all sunshine and beaches. So sometimes it's cold days and blisters. 
<laughs> the good thing about doing YouTube is you have documentation of what you've done to the boat. So you can look back and don't have to guess everything you've done. So, but still working on the rudder. Got it all took down. Got some low spots, had some water in it. So I got the water coming out. There's the spot we're gonna rebuild. We got it all sanded down over here because I'm gonna wrap around. There's that spot right there. It's drying out. <clears throat> and then probably gonna fiberglass that up tomorrow. I went ahead and cleaned up the through holes where the new one's gotta go in. We got the one right there. We got the whole reason why we had to haul out the transducer up front. Then we got the other through hole that um, did not have a valve on it. Well, it had a valve, but the handle broke off. And then it broke free when I was messing with it. So we're going to change that one out too. Right there. Um, all of our, um, not all of them, but most of our through holes had little um, screens on them, I guess, so they wouldn't suck up anything. So I don't think I'm going to put them back on though, because they were all... I don't know, just cleaning it just seems like it's going to be a pain in the ass if anything does get up in there. I'm going to take the screws out and try to get that screen out. So we're just going to leave them open. I'm going to fiberglass up these little holes, get some thickened epoxy where they were screwed in and just fill all that in and be done with that. So, yep, like I said, at least we got documentation on this old boat. And I feel like Uma right now, we're just saving an old girl because nobody else is going to wreck. making a mess y'all <laughs> y'all and just to give you an idea for anybody that's never done this before we're changing two through holes and a transducer and just those parts alone is almost a thousand dollars got the brand new transducer a couple all brand new bronze through holes just did brand new everything almost a thousand almost a thousand us dollars right there y'all adds up quick real quick and then you start adding in oh sorry you start adding in the 5200 and everything else not to mention when we did the through hole we're redoing all the plumbing in the back and the aft head i mean 130 dollars in hoses brand new y valve that was 110 it's just it's going to be absurd by the time we're done so keep that in mind y'all Listen, I'm all about this old boat life. I don't mind doing the work, but you got to be willing to do the work. You got to know how to do the work or at least learn or have friends, something. Do not buy an old boat if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Yeah, you can learn as you go, but it's going to be hard. Sailing shouldn't. Sailing's hard enough. Yeah, it's all fun, but you got hard days, so keep that in mind. Don't make it harder on yourself, show. All right, this is either day four, five. Four. I don't even know anymore. But I'm still working on the rudder. Cassie is back here trying to get the toilet Y valve all finished up. She's having the time of her life back here, as you can tell. Please tell me there's only two screws on here. Yeah, there's only two. So, yeah, because it was too hard to get to the back. So, just make sure you don't drop them because they're not magnetic. And. Yeah, she's working on that. I'm working on the rudder still. I'm gonna start fiberglassing and getting shit done. Getting shit done. So, all right, guys, gotta work. Fortunately, it's 
it's not too bad today. It is a uh, middle of our winter up here and we do get cold winter sometimes. And right now is we're getting these big cold Arctic blasts coming down from Canada. So we're getting some cold weather. Um, our high today is only mid fifties. So I got to get this epoxy to dry though. Cause I got layers and layers to do. So doing an old trick. Got the old halogen light on it. These things put off a lot of heat. Gonna try getting this stuff dried up. So I got a lot of work to do. Got the first one on that side. Started on the big chip over here. Yes, we got some um, closed cell foam. The rudder has some hollow spots. It is not hollow anymore. So I just drilled hole, drilled hole, been slowly filling it. This was the last little spot. It was hollow, so it's still, no, it's good. That stuff's still drying, so it, it's good. So, and that is closed cell, that is not open cell phone. It's not your regular stuff you get from Home Depot. Um, this stuff will not absorb water. Uh-oh, ah, I hear Cassie. I don't know where she's at. All right, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe she'll tell me it's beer 30, because I could really use well, one. There's everything with boats. It's taking a lot longer than what we were hoping. Um, this cold weather has just really got us messed up for doing fiberglass, so that's all right. <clears throat> Put the second layer on there, getting it dried up on this side. The hole's going away. Um, got a bunch of the holes filled in. Got a bunch of the holes filled in that um, we drilled in to drain out the water. So we got those filled. Got the second layer of glass on the end where it was broke off. Got a good layer over here on this side. Sorry, you can't tell because that light's there. So we're getting stuff done. I think Cassie just finished up all the hose work and everything for the new Y valve and all the brand new hoses in the aft head. So they can go ahead and get the stuffing. I'm um, stuffing. Yeah. So they can go ahead and get that through hole. We can get the through holes put in and then all that would be finished up yeah getting stuff done getting stuff done so and then we're letting them do all the blister repair because i have to work so that's going to be expensive but that's all right it'll all be done bottom's going to be good we won't even have to worry about it going forward got everything all sealed up um yeah doing like i said they're going to do all the little blister repairs so not too bad it's been a long time since it's been painted like i said it's about 20 25 tops um, they might find one or two more, which is a lot of blisters, don't get me wrong, but um, you start talking a 41 foot boat going down both sides and the keel, I mean, I don't know, it doesn't seem like that much. So, but, so, Cassie can come down here, they're gonna go through all that tomorrow, hopefully, get the through holes, everything put in. I'm gonna come down tomorrow after work, sand down this uh, last, what I did on this fiberglass. Do a little bit of sanding on it and maybe get a layer of fairing on it and this has been how many days since we hauled out five yeah. yeah so this has been five days in the boat yard and i am freaking exhausted i've been here every day since we hauled out working and the only thing that i think is officially done is the stuffing box which hopefully it's good it's hard to tell when it's not in the water i mean i know i'm gonna have to adjust it so we got the stuffing box done and cassie got her toilet done today all that plumbing so we got all brand new plumbing back there so all that's good to go another thing we didn't plan on doing so whatever but when it's all done i guess it'd be worth it so all right guys this is probably where we're gonna end this video which is this one's gonna be a really short video so what you got there, baby? Yeah. All right. Follow your subscribers. Bye. 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 All right, y'all. She said bye too. Peace. <laughs>